Hi, today I'm going to walk you through the virtual classroom interface that TechMoody has integrated in conjunction with Electa. For all the online learning management systems that we developed for our global client. To start the application, we will go to the demo link for Electa that is www.techmoody.com slash demo slash Electa. Once you're on this page, you would be able to view two links. The one is the one link is for the presenter that is a teacher who would ideally start the virtual classroom for the attendees that is all the students to attend it. So let me start by the te teacher interface of virtual classroom. I need to click on start meeting and the application would start running. There is no such heavy installation involved in the process. It's a, just a small JavaScript applet which is loaded onto your system. This is compatible with all the major browsers across the country. So this is the default whiteboard application which opens up. Now the teacher has started this session. So now it's time for the students to enter the virtual classroom. So let me just get back to the same URL that is www.techmodi.com slash demo slash elector. Now in order to attend the meeting I need to click on attend meeting. This is the interface which students would use. Now on my system by default there would be two instances of elector running. The first interface as you can see is for the presenter that is the teacher. The new instance which I have opened up is for the attendee. Now how do you differentiate which interface is for the student and which one is for the teacher? It's quite simple. The teacher as the admin would have lots of controls and access. This can be given to the student as well which I will explain further. So to let's go back to the main demo page and I will explain how the teacher can conduct a small online tutorial. So in order to begin with, I have taken the example of a maths teacher who would be explaining the Pythagoras theorem. So the teacher can just go online, type the details on a whiteboard and all these applications would be visible on the students end as well. Okay, so let me type the definition of a Pythagoras theorem. So as we are all aware that it is a square plus b square equals to c square. Right? Now it's quite not easy to follow, but we all know what exactly is the definition. The definition is in an right angle triangle that is a 90 degree angle the square of the hypotenuse side is equal to the sum of the other two sides Still not clear. Let me try using certain diagrams. So in order to insert a diagram as the teacher, I would go ahead and click on the add image. Now I will just browse to existing diagram and I'm just including one of the pages. I can reassign it the way I like. Now let me try explaining how exactly the Pythagoras theorem work. Now in order to prove that a square plus b square equals to c square, I would, let's imagine a triangle at 90 degree angle and now we have made three squares on each of the three sides. Then it's quite obvious that The largest square area, that is in this case the 
C has the same area as the sum of the other two small squares that is A and B. Let me just put, explain the more simple way for this. Also I would use a diagram. Now let's imagine that my student has a question regarding the same. So the student would need to raise his hand in order to ask question. So as from the student's interface, he can just click on raise hand. And once he clicks on raise hand, the teacher interface would also see the same. Now, if the teacher wants to know what exactly he's trying to com communicate, he can give him all the options that is he can view his webcam in order to view the question and he can talk to him as well when he's speaking through the webcam or he can give the participant that is the student a microphone access so that the student can speak and everyone else would listen also the user the teacher can provide the user an option to write on the board so let's give the user an option to write on the board. Once I've given the option, the student will also have the same tools which the admin earlier had. Now let's say I'm not pretty sure how this works. So I'm just highlighting it as a student to showcase my query. Right? Also if I need, I can use any other tool for my convenience. So let's say I want to say how it will work so I just draw an irregular triangle at an unknown angle and want to prove my point if it will work so let's put it this way now the teacher has explained how exactly it's not possible okay and after that the teacher can decide whether it was right or wrong so the teacher can then just mark it as completely incorrect okay and once that is done he or she can deprive can take the access from the user again so earlier I had as a teacher I had given the access to the t student to access all the tools now I'm depriving him of the same options So I just go ahead and deprive the user. Once I do that, all these controls from the user's interface are no longer available. Makes sense, right? Similarly, there are many other options that the Electa API provides. That is, he can, if he has question, he can just write it in a public room and the teacher can view those things. So the teacher can also respond via chat or directly onto the audio video presentation. If there are any notes that he wants to provide, he can just enter it out here. So let's say the teacher states test on Monday and he submits it. So by default, the student in the virtual room would get all this option. Now, if there is any other resources that the you teacher wants to store, let's say he has certain documents made in hand. So you can just go ahead and share all those documents, right? And all the PDF formats are supported, doc files, text files, as well as PowerPoint. So he can just select any of the document and share it with all the class, class of the students. Also, the teacher can share his webcam as well as screen with all the users. Makes sense. If once he's done with one chapter, he can move on to the next chapter by just clicking on new whiteboard. If there is a question answered by a student, he can reply back by confirming whether it was a positive or a negative answer and he can also provide all the emotions like smile and frown. So this provides the personal touch which we always look forward to. Also, if there is any polling that the teacher wants to create, 
there's he can create that on the go so he just needs to create it from a file let's say I create a small question so I just create a poll and I will present it to all the students if the student replies to this with a yes answer the teacher would get the same answer so he can select it as positive or wrong and also he can save this results in an RTF format for later on use if there, at any point of time there is a class test a group discussion that he wants to create he can use the option called as breakout so if there are multiple users let's say 10 students he can divide them into a group of five and five similarly even smaller groups can be created so this way Alexa is proves a complete solution for online virtual classroom the most important part out of on an Alexa is webcam interface that is the students and the teachers can interact with each other using the webcam interface and carry out video chat as well as text chat and all the necessary options the tools provided by Alexa are comprehensive and Tech Modi has partnered with Alexa in order to offer you this solution so if you are looking for the right solution for your online learning services you know whom to contact you can contact Tech Modi by filling out this small contact us form or you can directly visit us on techmoody.com and contact us out there and one of our representatives will be happy to help you out thanks for your time look forward for new dates and new demos from us thanks have a great day